So why am I even bothering with structs? Again, I kind of preluded to this is that number one, we're talking about OOP, this is a soft landing. Java's doing the same thing, but the code is easy. And the amount of uses that we can get out of it, again, as long as we know that everything is gonna be global or public access, that we can edit this pretty easily, it's a great starter for setting up for OOP and programming and all that stuff. And again, the code is easy. Yes, that is a keyword struct that will show up in some type of color. And then it's really important though, you see, you see the squiggly brace, here's your data members. The order does matter by the way. So this is one thing you really need to, as you're designing things out, really need to keep in mind. And then the ending squiggly brace, and yeah, there is that little semicolon at the very end. So be very, very careful about that because you're, you're basically defining a complex variable, just like you normally did in other variables that we've done before. Now, that also is going to mean that D-A-T-E, that's in capital letters, does mean something. If you were to use D-A-T-E in capital letters, C++ knows that it's going to be this object that you are going to be using and creating an instance of. So let's take a look at what that looks like.